Apparently, there are some leading political figures who do not want to party like it's 1999. Instead, they are ready to rumble. At a fundraiser last night, Jeb Bush alluded to Hillary Clinton and reportedly said, quote, if someone wants to run a campaign about 90s nostalgia, it's not going to be very successful. And quote, booyah. Now, here's Elizabeth Warren from the left making reference first to Bill Clinton's famous 1995 line that the era of big government is over, and then to Hillary Clinton's stint on the board of a large and controversial company based in Bentonville, Arkansas. Pretty much the whole Republican Party, and if we're going to be honest, uh, too many Democrats, have talked about the evils of big government and called for deregulation. If you work at Walmart and you are paid so little that you still need food stamps to put groceries on the table. What does more money in stockholders' pockets and an uptick in the GDP do for you? Uh, Mark, <laughs> my question about this for you is, are these just some early meaningless shenanigans uh, from the left and the right, uh, or is this something that poses an actual real threat to talk like this to Hillary Clinton? I try to follow the rule of Tom Brokaw. It's early. Don't overreact to this stuff. I think there's a critical period for her. Potentially, if she's not elected president, we'll look back at this period and say her passivity, her uh, ability, willingness to let Jeb Bush and Elizabeth Warren define her cost her the White House. Well, that may, I think there's something to that for sure. I think uh, Jeb Bush has a lot less standing to make this argument. He's trying to inoculate himself against the similar kind of arguments that will be made about him being a nostalgic candidate. Elizabeth Warren, however, that is, that is amazing. I mean, we have both said for a long time we don't think she's going to run. But that is the first real frontal broadside. It's and not frontal, she, but it's a society. It's just a shock to her. And it's the first time I've thought, even if she doesn't run, and I don't think she will, although I don't rule it out anymore, yeah. that this is her attempt to control the debate and make Hillary Clinton sing, dance to her tune. Right. And if that happens, Hillary Clinton will have a million conference calls about it, yep. and she'll make horrible decisions. She's got to run her own campaign, which is one of the most impressive things about what there's, Jeb is doing right there's now. There's no way in the world era big government is over, and Walmart got into that speech without her knowing exactly turtle, turtle what on a fence she was post doing. Didn't happen by accident. Absolutely.